Hello everyone, welcome to the Geo Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanand and you have been watching my videos on various topics of geography, environment and research methodology on my channel, The Geo Ecologist. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing our channel because we are going to cover each and every topic related to geography on our channel. So now, in today's session on settlements geography, we are going to learn about the concepts of sustainable urban development, sustainable planning, concerns and also Indian policies related to sustainable urban development development at the end of this video. So please watch the video till the end and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to share the videos with others as well. So now let's learn about the concept of sustainable urban development. In the sessions before, we have also talked about the concept of smart cities, livable cities, livability concept and also hybrid cities. Now when we are looking into the future, the word sustainability always talks in terms of the present and also ensuring the future, the continuity, right? So when we say urban development and its future, we are associating it with sustainability. So sustainable urban development in simple way is what? It's a way forward. Way forward for what? For urban development, for cities to mitigate the climate change and its impact and make it more livable for people to come. So integrated urban spaces designed to bring people, activities, buildings, public spaces, all of them together in the network. So what happens with all of them together in the network, it becomes easy for people to live in those cities. For example, easy walking, cycling connections between them and near excellent transit service to the rest of the city. So we are talking about mobility of the people and also we are talking about the livability of the people. So if you observe this particular image here, a smartness of the city is in terms of the connection activities, the movement of people, free and also in terms of the hybridization with nature and the constructive part of the city. So when we say that concrete and nature fuse together to make it more livable, otherwise it will only become a concrete jungle, it will become urban heat island. So these are the things that we talked about. And now climate neutral city is something which we are looking into for future. So the challenges and the opportunities related to climate neutral cities. Remember in COP26 meet, we also talked about the carbon neutrality in Indian context and Indian government has promised that we are going to make it carbon neutral economy in future. So the Urban 21 conference in Berlin in 2000 actually defined this particular sustainable urban development. And what was the definition? Improving the quality of life in the city, including ecological, cultural, political, institutional, social and economic components. Now remember these components number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and 6. So 6 components of this particular sustainable urban development. So ecological, cultural, political, institutional, social and economic components. When we are talking about all these 6 components working in tandem, that is when we say that sustainability is achieved. So components without leaving a burden on the future generations. So this definition was given for sustainable urban development. And now after year 2000, we observe that sustainable development goal number 11. Since the time we have sustainable development goals last 10 years. So sustainable cities and communities goal number 11 is where we are looking into future. We are focusing upon sustainable cities, right? So in the last lecture, we talk about future cities, smart cities, livable cities, concerns of the future. If you have not watched the last video it was important and related to what we are learning today so the 2030 agenda to achieve sustainability and look into the future is what we are running in present when we look into this particular aspect that is the key role of cities as climate change players remember formally it was recognized in COP21 in Paris and since then what we have been looking into is the new urban agenda since Habitat 3 where housing and sustainable urban developments have been taken into consideration as the main pivot of future. So when we are looking into it, remember sustainable urban development should have a right mix of activities and people. Now what is a right mix? If you look into this particular schematic diagram, you'll observe there is a right mix of activities and people. How it is? Look into the mix of activities. It's saying complementary uses of housing, jobs, schools and retail. Then everyday necessities, access to local services. And then we are looking into green and open spaces. 
Now this is where we are looking into mix of activities and when we are saying mix of people, it is affordable housing. Remember the 3A concept, affordability, availability and accessibility. Then we have housing preservation and business and service preservation. So when all of these combine together, then in this network we have a smart futuristic city. So there is a mix of activities which needs to work in tandem, which needs to work in collaboration right which needs to work in sync with each other that's very important so when we observe according to united nations world economic and social survey 2013 what is a sustainable city remember it has following characteristics they should meet their inhabitants development needs without imposing unsustainable demands on local or global natural resources so remember it's about efficiency again resources and their consumption and our need all of them have to be in sync. That's very important for sustainability. Then we look into that they should not transfer risk both spatially and temporally. Remember, spatial risk that is in terms of area and expands and temporally means from present to future generation. The amount of risk that we are creating should be minimized. So disaster risk reduction comes into the picture here. Remember this DRR framework and also they should integrate socio-economic development, environmental management and urban governance together. These are the three pillars of sustainable city and settlement should be inclusive, safe, resilient, sustainable. If if you remember the last lecture we talked about future cities and these were the words that we used inclusivity safe resilient remember these are the main things that we talk about when we say sustainable city or sustainable urban development then what we look into is sustainable planning so if you have to achieve sustainable development so sustainable planning is the basis for that development isn't it so if you look into this framework of sustainable city economic prosperity social equity and environmental quality when they come hand in hand then it becomes sustainable city and remember this flow diagram so what you observe here sustainable city planning includes these characteristics which we have talked about in the entire sustainable development lectures environmental geography lectures and also the previous lectures on sustainable development and settlements so remember these are the same points compact forms of residential development land use homes jobs shopping that is mixed land use and employment is based on education and skill so that development needs to be done movement by foot and bicycle so making it more sustainable and less pressure on the fossil fuels then wind and solar energy is the alternative energy that we are looking into and then tertiary treatment of sewage uses of natural means of sewage treatment very important is urban waste disposal in these days so remember that's where we are looking into and protection and use of natural hydrological systems so if you are not recharging our groundwater well there is a problem if you are not looking into the pollution free surface water flow that's also a problem and remember the water harvesting structures which in many parts of india and world have been made mandatory already for every building right for every society so we are looking into that and then natural open space protection of wetlands remember ramsa convention and wetlands very important and woodlands habitat use of manure compost integrated pest management and all of them in organic forms not on chemical basis and reduction of waste recovery reuse recycle waste materials so remember the three r concept reduce reuse recycle remember these kind of concepts have come up so this is where sustainable planning is so we have to ensure that when we're planning development of our future cities we must ensure these things we must tick mark each of them then only we can make a sustainable future so now the hpec high powered expert committee world bank and confederation of indian industry cii remember this these three have done something that is providing analysis on the challenges affecting sustainable urban development in india so what are the challenges in india look into it planning for land use and zonation then functioning of the property market and property governance then access to serviced land and affordable housing very important affordability is a very important pillar housing for all and access to mass transit systems road networks mobility for people last mile connectivity for people right so we're looking into that and creating a favorable environment for starting operating and growing businesses so can you remember some of these schemes of indian government right from swaksha bharat abhiyan to what you're looking into the 
housing to road networks, Udan scheme and several other connectivity things that we are doing. And also what we are doing is the Startup and Skill India, right? Make in India projects. So these are certain things we are looking into and these are the major challenges for us in future. And also if you observe, World Bank suggests these particular reasons above these challenges. What are the reasons? Remember empowerment deficit, resource deficit, accountability deficit and delivery deficit. World Bank identifies these four kind of deficits which must be overcome in order to meet these challenges. If we are not maintaining the balance of this, if we are running in deficit in all these aspects, then we will not be able to make a sustainable city, a futuristic city, a livable city that we are looking into, right? So what are we doing? As in India, we are doing some things which are very important. So six new missions, if you observe, Atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation. Remember, this is Amrit scheme. Then we have Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, housing for all by 2022. And furthermore, then what we are looking into Smart Cities mission. You can visit all of their websites and you can see what is the progress there. And Swaksh Bharat mission, heritage city development and augmentation Yojana. It's called Hriday Yojana. And also also, Deen Dayal Antyode Yojana, which is National Urban Livelihood Mission called Day NULM. Now, remember, these are six major programs of government running across the country to make sure that our future is livable, sustainable, carbon neutral, right? So, resilient cities, livable cities is the future cities. So, if you are not working on these aspects, then it will not be achieved. So, that's where Indian government is working. And what we look into is Heritage City Development and Augmentation Yojana, that is Hriday Yojana. It is a very specific Yojana. Very well observed that it was launched with a focus on holistic development of heritage cities and for example Ajmer, Amritsar, Amravati, Badami, Dwarka, Gaya, Kanchipuram, Mathura, Varanasi and several others if you observe are part of these schemes. Now heritage city is something part of our ancestral cultures right so what we're looking into is creating heritages and this would further ensure tourism, this would ensure economic growth and also the sustainability of these heritage sites in the cities. So what we are looking into is these kind of yojanas being led by Indian government and supported by people, we are today trying to make it a better place, better urban planning, newer urban development concepts are coming up and we are looking into future with great hope for humanity to survive, live to the fullest and with best of technologies create a great a resilient future city. So now when we have discussed in details the various aspects of sustainable urban development in the sessions to come we'll be talking more on different other aspects of geography. So if you have not watched the entire playlist please you can go to the section playlist and you can check for the other videos other playlists and also you can share the videos with others and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So all the best wishes take care.